Welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2018 and a half Forest River No Boundaries 16.7 model. They are nicknaming it the Nobo, short for No Boundaries. We're going to take a few minutes and walk you around the outside and inside of this new camper. On the very front of the camper, you have a two inch hitch ball. This camper was ordered with the standard manual tongue jack, but they do offer an option for a power hitch jack. You can do that from the factory when ordering it, or you can do it aftermarket. It's easy to replace. The unit comes standard with a single 20 pound propane tank and hard cover. Some customers have already started asking about upgrading to dual tanks. That is available through the dealership if you want to do that. Um, it uh, Just get with your salesperson on pricing and stuff like that. Uh, the camper has one single battery that comes with it with Couches RV Nation here, uh, but there is room to do two if you're an off-the-grid camper type of person and you want to do dual batteries, you can do that. The camper has a standard seven-way Bargman plug. It has a breakaway cable and your standard safety chains. Um, the camper does have brakes, so it is important to make sure you have a brake controller when you are towing the camper got a hitch light in the front corner here. It has a nice lower diamond plate metal. There is a uh, propane hookup here for gas hookup if you want to do like a portable grill. That is built in right there. The camper does have a fiberglass side. So you got fiberglass front, side, and back. It does have an enclosed underbelly also. I'll show you that when we get around there. You have a nice, large, frameless window here on the front of the coach. This window does not open. However, the side windows do open, so you can open those up there. We've got a nice size storage compartment here, which goes underneath the queen bed area inside. Here you can see the heavy-duty scissor jacks. They use these on a lot of campers. but uh, It's basically just a heavy-duty scissor jack on all four corners. Got an electric outlet on the side. You've got a nice Thule awning. This just cranks out. You can stake it to the ground or attach it to the side of the camper when it's out. The unit comes with a real heavy duty fender system. This is designed to be a step. It's actually welded into the frame down here. But that is designed to be a step, so you can step up onto it and kind of reach the awning or reach the roof rack system that's up there. Uh, you also have the optional little rhino rack step here that attaches to the tire and basically allows you to help get up and down there. It's got the black tank flush, so that will help you clean out your toilet system when you're done camping. It's got an LED porch light. This light is uh, in yellow mode. Or, but uh, you can also flip the switch the opposite direction and it puts it in a clear white light mode. Uh, you do have a nice sized entry door here with a window and it does have a screen also. You've got the upgraded Moride step. So this comes down, touches the ground, it has adjustable legs on it but that step can hold more weight and it doesn't have that springy bounce to it like the traditional RV step. So a nice little upgrade there. Got the large folding entry handle here. There is a place to plug in a portable solar panel if you wanted to do that. Both ZAMP and Go Power um, have a plug-in system that will uh, hook to that if you wanted to do portable solar panels got a ladder on the back again to kind of help you get up there to that rack. Uh, this particular unit was ordered with the uh, ski rack slash fishing pole thing to hold it and also the kayak rack. There's multiple systems that you can purchase aftermarket or order from the factory to go up onto that rack system up there. You have LED tail lights and running lights on the back. Nice sized tires. Um, these are Cooper tires that they're currently using. They are off-road tires. 
These are actually 16 inch tires. They are LT21585 R16 E range tires. So really nice heavy duty tire for a small camper like this. And up top here you have the stove exhaust vent. You've got the standard RV square tube bumper, so it's a good place to store your dump hose. Um, or if you wanted to do a bike rack, you could scoot the tire over. They make some little bike racks to attach to these bumpers. And also they make a new one called the jacket that will attach to the front tongue underneath of the uh, crank jack. That is a new feature that some people are actually starting to use. It will hold a couple bikes up above the propane tank area there. There's an outside utility shower, hot and cold water. Um, there is your power cord plug-in. It's 30 amp electric service, detachable power cord. And just above that is your ga a, uh, cable and satellite hookups there. This unit does have a slide out on it. This is an electric slide system, so it's push button. This is the Schwintech system which has a couple motors that pull it straight in straight out. Uh, it's got a nice track system there so it's pretty hard for it to mess up. Um, you have a dump station down here for the gray tank and then over this direction here is another dump station for your black tank. So you actually have two dumps on this area here. The two black panels there are venting and maintenance purposes for the uh, refrigerator. And this unit was ordered with the low profile 13.5 Dometic air conditioner you can see up there. It also does have a TV antenna on it too. Your furnace exhaust out here, city water and portable water fills are here. You have a six gallon gas and electric water heater. The electric turns on right down here. The gas flips on inside. Got your drain plug, electric heating element back behind here, and two reset buttons. And it's got some information on the tag here for model numbers and serial numbers and stuff. On the corner of the camper, you're going to have some more info here. Basically, dry weight sticker, 3,396 pounds is what the factory weighed this one in at. Tires, sizes, and pressures are right here. Uh, production dates, VIN numbers, axle size, all that type of stuff right here. Uh, basically, just tells you a 4,400-pound axle. Um, gross vehicle weights and things like that are all located up here, too. Going back around here to the inside of the coach, this particular camper has the rear kitchen set up. So going up into the camper, you have a two burner propane stove. This has the flip up glass cover. Got your standard RV uh, stove vent cover here. Basically you've got a fan built in and you have a light built in but just a traditional range hood. You've got a single sink here which is a stainless sink. It's not a plastic sink. Nice high-rise faucet. Overhead cabinetry. These actually flip up. Got little shocks on the doors hidden Euro hinges here so it gives it a nice cleaner look but this cabinet goes all the way across the top down below you've got a couple pull out drawers here full extending ball bearing drawer guides over on the side in the middle here you've got more storage same thing over here. Got an electric outlet on the side down there. 
and then you have a little light built in here. You can turn it off or you can flip it on in motion mode. It's got a little motion sensor thing here. Or you can just leave it on. You've got the Dometic three-way refrigerator. This works off gas, electric, and 12 volts. So it is actually a three-way instead of two-way refrigerator. Basically, you got your power button, electric, gas, and battery. And then you have your temperature control right here. To open it, you just push down on the little button here to open it up. It does have a little freezer, but you can also remove this if you want to give it a little more room for refrigeration purposes if you've got taller items. Convection microwave option here, so you can cook or microwave either one. This is by high point. Just up above, you got your smoke detector up there. You have your propane leak detector down here, and you have your electric box with your breakers and fuses down there. On the side, you've got little bottle opener things, little hangers here. Got another switch for, again, the light out there to go off and on, yellow or white light. Slide out button here. USB charging ports. Your JBL Bluetooth speaker stand. Your TV hookups. So you got your 12 volt outlet, cable and satellite hookups, and 110 outlet. And then there's a backer in the wall. If you wanted to mount the TV, you can do that. Got a nice vinyl floor, U-shaped dinette that will make into a bed. Got nightshades on the windows. Overhead cabinet here. It's got a nice light in it. This right here is the roof material. If you want to Google it, kind of look it up there, find out a little more information on that. Little LED lights below here just have a little push button on them to turn them off and on. Got a glass shower door. It's got the wet bath, so you've got your toilet, you got a sink and shower all in one here. Nice turbo exhaust fan up there. Got your light switch for your bathroom here. Monitor panel, basically turn the water heater on propane, water pump, battery condition, tanks, uh, your digital thermostat for your air conditioner and for your uh, furnace. A little bit of room beside the bed there. There is an electric outlet down there. Your furnace is also located underneath the here. You've got three drawers here. Again, full extending ball bearing drawer guides. And then you have a nice hanging closet here. This right here is the awning rod to crank in and out the awning. It's real easy to do. Nice little decorative pillows. It's got little flip down racks here. These just fold up against the wall and latch in. There's a little push button latch here or you can bring it down You've got one on this side, another one over here on this side. Also have TV hookups here. Again, 12-volt outlet and your uh, booster button for the antennas right there. And your antenna rotation handle is right here. Uh, 
Again, be sure to check out more of our videos, um, CouchesRVNation.com lets me do these videos for you guys. If you have any questions, my name's Ray. I'm one of the sales guys here. 888-417-8299, uh, my direct extensions 203. If you'd like to purchase one of these things, be sure to give me a call. I'll be glad to help you. We are one of the largest wholesale RV dealers in the country, so we will definitely save you a good amount of money on a new RV. We have shipping available. We ship them all over the world, so we'll definitely help you there if you don't have time to come pick it up. You can check out our website, CouchesRVNation.com for more information.